<sighs> Neil, why do you do this to yourself? You need to get help, man. You need help. This is by far my most ambitious project yet, and we together are going to be making a massive Lord of the Rings Shire gaming board. And if you saw the last video, I've been crazy busy modeling an entire set of halfling homes specific for this project to 3D print. And I plan on making those available for all of you. So in case you haven't noticed, my studio has been completely invaded by Woodland Scenics products. So Woodland Scenics has generously, generously provided all the material for this project. This isn't even, this isn't even doing it justice. So we got this massive box here. There's all those supplies under that as well. This is going to be one of my biggest projects to get. It's going to be absolutely insane. Let's jump into it and see what we can do here. All right, so to start the project, we're going to need a base and a shell. And for that, I use my tested and true hardboard. That is this stuff. This is hardboard. I call it particle board before. It's actually called hardboard. Makes for a great outer shell, very lightweight, uh, but as you can see, it's very flimsy. So we're gonna add some structural members on there to stiffen that up as well. There's gonna be some styrofoam kind of for the side panels. The side panels will be pretty high up. So they're gonna be quite flimsy. We're gonna have to add something in there to make those nice and solid. So let's get to making a base. Actually, you know what? It just occurred to me, we haven't even gone over the design yet. Let me show you. All right, so if you haven't guessed it yet, we're gonna be making a Hobbiton gaming board of the Shire from Lord of the Rings. And as mentioned earlier, I've been designing an entire set of 3D printable halfling homes behind the scenes. And the board is to be four foot by six foot split into three two by four foot modular gaming boards to be mixed and matched in various arrangements in order to enhance replayability for gameplay. Good. Let's get back at it. <laughs> Very excited for this. I'm gonna be doing some terraforming of the land. Now I got a completely new system, Woodland Scenics system, thanks to them sending me all their products. And I'm actually really, really excited for this because this is done way differently than what I would normally do with this. So this system, it makes it super lightweight, which is perfect for a gaming table. You gotta move them around. You gotta take them to different places, people's houses. And this is gonna make them very lightweight. To start off, we got these support panels here. They're basically the main structure, the support structure for your hills, as you can see here. And then on top of these, you use this stuff. Now this stuff is called Shaper Sheet. 
and I am really, really excited for this. I think this is an amazing product, especially, especially for beginners. So I'm gonna be using those as well. And then on top of the shaper sheet, we use the plaster cloth. You wet it in the tray and they sent even their uh, rubberized tray, kind of like a luxury item. But I got a feeling this is gonna be one of my most favorite things. This and these rubberized bowls, perfect for plaster, perfect for cleaning up afterwards once you get all the dry crud in there. This is the thing I'm most excited for in this project is trying out a new system for terrain making. Okay, maybe this is a close second. The first being what I talked about in the last video. Maybe some 3D items I've been developing behind the scenes. That might be what I'm most excited for, but I'm super excited for this new system. So let's go try it out and see what we can make. But first, before we do that, it's time to introduce this video sponsor, Dungeon Fog, who, by the way, have created something pretty spectacular specifically for this Hobbiton project that I'm super tickled about. First of all, though, Dungeon Fog is an online map making and authoring tool designed for RPG game masters, and the online editor makes it possible to draw and create custom buildings, rooms, dungeons, and more with over 3,000 preset choices for props, filters, and textures. And as you can see, the guys at Dungeon Fog were so excited to be a part of this Shire project, they've decided to make a complete interior map of Bilbo Baggins' beloved home, Bag End, which I think they've captured stunningly well, and it just goes to show the amazing possibilities using their editor. And on top of things, they've made a special 10% off coupon just for all of you guys, so go check out their website, use the code, and get to creating some beautiful maps for your next campaign. So I got my prints out here. It's got the dimensions on it. I'm gonna be using this as a guide because I want this to be pretty much as accurate to this as I, as I can make it because this is how I design it. That's how I want it. So I kind of perfected things in 3D first and now we're gonna transfer it onto here. I'll uh, measure out each foot and from there I'll be able to transfer the different heights and things onto the hills. Let's uh, try it out. I'm eager to see how we're gonna shape out these guys here. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so we've got the main structure done on these boards. You know, they're really lightweight and I really am kind of excited for these guys. These support panels here, the kind of honeycomb shape. I did have to add on the edges some styrofoam and I probably would have done that first before putting down the kind of honeycomb support panels there because we are gonna be using something called shaper sheets, which is this stuff right here. It's sheet that can be shaped. Stop it. Get some help. As the name suggests, you can shape this into whatever shape you want. And look at that. It holds it. On the top, it's very soft. It's kind of like a felt. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. My biggest concern with this is the clear bottom, or not clear, the uh, shiny metal. I don't see that adhering very well to uh, anything <laughs> so i need to brainstorm here and figure out how we're going to get this to stick on nicely All 
right, so I'm done my first board using the shaper sheet. And I gotta say, very, very pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoyed actually doing this part. But remember how I said, this shiny metallic bottom, typically surfaces like this are really bad for glues adhering to. That's what I thought this one was. I'm just gonna cut some strips here. We're gonna do a little test. Okay, so I've left enough time for these to cool and dry. I put the glue on the styrofoam first. You see it's sticking to the foil much better than it's actually sticking to the foam, which is pretty crazy. Pretty impressed there, uh, Woodland Scenics. This is the hot glue directly onto the shiny foil. It does peel off, but it's very difficult to do. It's coming off in chunks. I would have thought the whole thing would have peeled off easily on its own. Okay, there we go. <sighs> okay, there it came off. Shaper sheet, awesome stuff. Uh, there's one little trick that I wanna show you. Say you push down a little too far, how do you bring it back up? So I just got these tweezers here. You can just push it in to the stuff and you can pull it up and shape it back again the way you want to have it shaped. So that's just a little tip for you. I'm gonna get some water and we're gonna throw some plaster down and this is gonna be a ton of fun. All right. Okay, so it is time to get on to the lighting part of these boards. Woodland Scenics has an entire lighting system. It's called their Just Plug Lighting System. Obviously, all you gotta do is plug them in. Just plug them in. So basically, you got your lights right here. So I got some of these guys. They got a sticky back on them. I'm gonna actually be using those on the inside of the hobbit holes. You can see I got some windows on those. So we want those to look lit up. Over here, they sent a whole bunch of these tiny HO scale wall mount lights. So they go right on the wall. It's like a little lantern on the outside wall of the hop holes. And then from there, they got these other little doohiggies here. You got these little port sharing devices. The port sharing de devices are where your lights plug into. And from there, these guys plug into this, these light hubs and you can have up to four of the port sharing devices plug into the light hub. So four lights times four is 16. And then from there, these guys can plug into the expansion pack, which again, take another, can take up to four. So four times 16, I believe is 64. And then of course you get the power supply right here. And there's even a dimmer on this as well. Yeah, this is gonna be good. So let's get these boards lit up.
I got my little electrical box here all done up and I'm really, really liking the way this is looking. So at the top here, the port sharing devices. So I got three, those plug into the light hub. The light hubs, I'm gonna have three, one for each board. And you can see they even have little dimmers on them as well. Plug into this guy, the expansion hub. And then I just plug the power into that guy just over there. Then all the boards can be powered by this guy right here. So really, 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 really excited <laughs> for these. <laughs> really excited. All right. The lighting is done. You can see here the wires. This is one of the hobbit holes. It's got an interior light, which is this guy, and the exterior exterior lamp. But here we are. Look at how clean and amazing that is. I'm gonna put the back panels on here. Wooden panel yet, but I'm gonna leave the boxes exposed. Uh, they got the little dimmers on those. So there's that. There's the main one right here. This is where you plug the power into, and then it extends, and this is where they each attach like so as you can see on the ends here too we got one on either side and yeah so now it is the moment of truth to see if these all light up i'm gonna go put the camera down and get these guys plugged in drum roll hopefully this all works out so here is our power source here's a little connector i'm gonna plug it in and let's see what happens <laughs> nice <laughs> I think it looks amazing. Here, let's uh, let's cover up this window. Really nice dramatic effect. Okay, how does that look on camera? Can you see my face really well in there? Let's get in close here and have a little look. Oh yeah, that looks good. are beautifully lit up and I just want to give a big thank you to Woodland Scenics for providing everything for this project. Links down in the description box below for everything that I used here. Uh, if you use those links, those are Amazon affiliate links, it does help me and the channel out by using those. A big thank you to Dungeon Fog for sponsoring the video and for providing that beautiful, beautiful map of Bag End for this project. And finally, a big, big, huge thank you to all my patrons. I did actually my very first live stream ever on my Discord server for the patrons. They watched me use the shaper sheet on, I think it was Bilbo's board. Uh, I did the shaper sheet. They saw exactly how I did that and I got to hang out with those guys and it was so much fun and it went so smoothly, so well. So if you wanna be a part of those, check out the Patreon and become a part of the Discord server. And not only that, it's really, really going a long way into helping me develop this channel and build it up and support me and my family through this crazy, crazy uh, endeavor. And now it's time to finish up this board. I can't wait. All the 3D printable hobbit holes that I've designed for this is going to look so good, so amazing. So stay tuned because that is coming quick. <laughs>